cases can be some of the most devastating. These cases leave unanswered questions, sometimes for a lifetime. Who did it and why did they do it? 11 Investigates has been working alongside law enforcement for years to get those answers for victims like these. Tonight, we take you inside the Bureau of Criminal Investigations Crime Lab in Bowling Green as we work to strengthen those relationships and see the latest technology. Nancy Eagleson, Jane Jordan, Claudia Tinsley, Grace Kennedy, Mark DiStefano, just a fraction of the victims here in Northwest Ohio whose stories have no ending. But that doesn't mean they're not still being written. I visited the BCI crime lab today to find out how new technology is bringing families closer to closing a painful chapter. And I can see there's marks at the front of that firing pin there. Some of the latest technology involves comparing bullet cartridges to link crimes involving the same gun. Think of it like comparing two fingerprints. Just like a person has unique fingerprints we leave behind, so do guns except those unique prints are left on bullets. And if I look at the other one side by side, I can see a lot of those lines kind of line up. So in this situation, I might say that these are from the same firearm. Investigators here use a team approach. Each one specialized in one aspect of solving crimes, touch, genealogy, and familial DNA, connecting criminals or victims using DNA from family members. And then there's technology DNA, like information extracted from cell phones, GPS, your computer searches. If it was collected even decades ago, chances are it's holding some piece of information. This is a 3D scanner. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Uh, so the, the, the biggest advancements with these are they've gotten faster. Uh, so 10, 15 years ago, it might take a half an hour, 20 minutes to document a scene. Now we're right around a minute and a half. Take a look at this 3D video, much more detailed than a regular crime scene photo and a real feel for a scene. Like if you knew where a witness was standing or where your victim was standing, you could scan that area and that way you could show the jury or the investigators exactly what the, the witness or the victim could see at the time of when that incident took place. Think about all the small police departments in Northwest Ohio. They're busy with day-to-day -day mayhem and may not have the resources to dedicate to cold cases. And that's where BCI comes in. We can come in alongside the local law enforcement agency and provide that scale uh, and the expensive tools that you need to be able to do some of these things. Working to close the book on what happened to these innocent people and make sure no one's story has to go unwritten. I think the biggest part is knowing that we we're going to be able to give answers to a victim's family. Now, I think this is interesting. I asked every investigator today, what technology do you need that you still don't have? They all said it's impossible to know because it doesn't exist yet. Think about it. How could we imagine what we'd been able to do with an iPhone when we only had flip phones? The point is, the investigators told me the technology being used to solve these cold cases is advancing by the week.